The podcast that you're about to enjoy is part of the Low Tree Studios podcast network. To enjoy more great podcasts like this one, visit LowTreeStudios.com. From Low Tree Studios, featuring topics that serve as an informative and inter- <laughs> what was that look for? <laughs> oh my God, that came in so hot. <laughs> Should I not be hot? <laughs> wow. Should I be like... Uh, from Low Tree Studios. From Low Tree Studios. Yeah. Featuring topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind. This is the Jason and Mindy Podcast. My name is Jason. And my name is Mindy. Hello, wife. Coming up, I will share uh, stats about your couch. Mm. You may not know or even really want to know. Well, we've had plenty of time on the couch so maybe we know <clears throat> not this one as much but the old one had some years on it <laughs> and i'm going to share a, a topic called parents who raise highly successful kids have these things in common mm. it's kind of interesting there's only about three but um i wanted to see you know discuss it see if you know maybe you you know our parents had those things in common <laughs> i yeah. see also are we you know are we highly successful are we successful uh, anyway mindy will share <gasps> Underrated Christmas gifts nice. because it's almost that it's time. Almost and how to tell if it's a cold, flu, or allergies. Interesting. That's or good. maybe COVID. Mm, is that on there? No. Okay. We shall discuss. Well, welcome those of you listening after the live show. There is no live show, so thank you for listening on your favorite pod catcher. And of course, welcome Mindy. Let's listen to this tune here. Let's bring it in. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, so we got a lot to update. We're not going to go into a bunch. I'm, I'm personally, I'll speak for myself. I don't know about you. I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail on how COVID feels and all that shit. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to do that. Um, it's, yeah, is that what you're saying that I'm going to do? I figure you will. Yeah, I you'll, you'll will. go into all of it. I figure. Uh, but I do want to mention something. It's funny, something that happened earlier today <clears throat> and, 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 and see how people feel about this stuff, right? So yesterday before we uh, had to take Blue to the vet because Blue's had some stuff going on, you know, old dog shit. Um, and, and we like going to that vet. They're great, by the way. Every yeah. time I go in there, there's no other dogs. I don't know. I don't know if they're just not getting any business or what, but it's kind of nice. You don't have to deal with a bunch that. of dogs. Yeah, a bunch of dogs. Um, so we're, we're about to leave and then this guy comes up from Vivint. Now Vivint is a, an alarm security, mm-hmm. you know, home security system. Uh, we had Vivint before we had it for many, many years. We really liked it. Uh, we were grandfathered into this really, really low rate. We knew we'd never get that rate ever again. So mm-hmm. we just canceled it. Um, and of course we wanted to add more stuff to the home and stuff like that. So we, we told him all this really nice guy, young guy, he's a good salesman, uh, but we were leaving and he said, can I come back later? We said, sure. Yeah. If we're, if we're home, we'll, we'll talk to you for a minute. <clears throat> he happened to come back last night when I was playing drums and you were taking a nap. Mm-hmm. So we didn't, we didn't speak to him. So today came home, <clears throat> I'm putting air. I was about to put air in your tire and mm-hmm. he's, he walks through the neighborhood this is right when we got home. Okay. And, and a really nice guy. Again, uh, I always tend to keep my distance cause I don't, you know, want to seem overly friendly just so that they know w- when the no comes mm-hmm. that they should have been prepared for it. <laughs> I know. I, right? I, and I <clears throat> sense this about you because I know you obviously. Yeah. So I just kind of, I'm k- keep doing shit. Um, I, you know, he, he was in the garage, so I was still kind of doing stuff. I was listening to him and we talked to him and we heard his pitch and, you know, he says all the things that he could put in the house and it's all amazing stuff. You know, we currently have ring and ring is ring is working for us and we, we like it. And it's way cheaper, by the way. Um, so he goes through the spiel. We know it's going to be a lot. We, we just know it because I we've been through this before. I couldn't believe, though, how much it has gone up. We were pretty spoiled. Yeah. It, anyway, it, we paid like twenty four, twenty five dollars a month, something yeah. like that. Um, and we didn't have a lot. We had one little camera. We had some sensors, some gra- some glass breaks, um, and, and then the oh, rest shit. was ring stuff. Right. We had a couple mm-hmm. ring cameras to uh, to add to the home. So he comes back with this, you know, this amount, and I'm like, we look at each other like, nah, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna, it, it ain't gonna happen. 
And then, so he's really a good salesman. So he's trying to get it, he gets it lower and he, and, and he finally, he gets it to a, a really low amount and we're still like, no, sorry. You know, if, and I, I just, what, what, what happens with me though is the problem with <laughs> no. me, this is the problem with me. I just feel bad because he was good at, he was, at, and he was, he was super a good nice. salesman, very nice, respectful. He was, he was not overly eager. We've had people like that before and, we, and it was really irritating Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it just yeah, felt he had some smooth move. It just felt bad. I, I always feel bad and I don't know that I should feel bad as a, uh, as just a regular consumer. People get, get nose like that all the time. I, I think I reminded you as I'm sitting in the driveway, I'm like, I've had some shitty jobs. Okay. So let me tell you what happens because when you start feeling guilty and you start feeling bad, I'm like, that it makes me feel bad. And I'm like, well, God, now I just feel like horrible. I'm, I'm like, not going to buy a service just because I feel be- bad though. Right. But still I was like, okay, so Jason's like <laughs> not going to let this go. And then now I'm feeling really bad. So now I got to go get the dog. Cause now I got to go pretend I'm going to walk the dog. Cause you pulled the 20 and out and you're going to give, give the guy 20 bucks. <laughs> I was going to give him 20 for his time. Yeah. Cause you bad. made me feel bad. Well, I didn't ma- I didn't intend to make you feel bad. I just feel bad. I, I guess it's just I have compassion for people that have to do that type of work. It's not fun work. I mean, no, it, it especially really getting isn't. nose. Yeah. So I apologize if I cough a little bit tonight. Yeah, uh, as I realize as I'm talking that I am some phlegm is coming up. Maybe I haven't talked a lot since we had the, the vid. Um, I'll briefly tell you my part. I, I had a, I, as you know, we canceled one because I was sick. Um, and I had a cold at that time and I was getting over it. And then Mindy got really sick for Thanksgiving, over Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. She even went to urgent care the Monday after cause she had like almost like a, felt like strep for you. I'll let you I explain thought it. Was, it. Yeah, I thought it was, strep. but they didn't even test you for COVID. And then no. I, I woke up Tuesday morning with a fever and was like, what is going on? So I said, let me test myself. And I tested positive. But you before tested. then, we had tested ourselves. I was twice. negative. Yeah, I we, was negative. We were right. both negative. Uh, so yeah. So then we we test. I yeah. I man, I tell you what though, I just thought I had strep throat because it was exactly like it. It felt like you know I swallowed knives for two days straight. Yeah, for and you it wasn't so great. Second day, I couldn't handle it. I I had to go to the ER. And ER urgent or, well, care. Urgent care. Yeah. Whatever. Those, those are different. Same, same. They're not really the same. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, and then I thought, you know, I didn't think of them to test me because I had already tested twice before. So I told them that, no, I it wasn't that. Hmm. Well, shit, when I got home, you said you tested yourself. Was it then? It was Tuesday. I tested in the morning and then you tested later and you had it. And then you're well. all, by the way. I'm yeah. positive. When you got up in the morning. Yeah, I was like, I'm positive. And okay. I'm like, well, shit, let me test myself. And yeah. sure enough, so positive. There we go. So so we both had it. Uh, Mindy did get some drugs for the other stuff. It went, it went away pretty quickly, I would say. Mm. Um, you you called it, you were telling Carol Chappell's a new kind of hell every day. I wouldn't be that dramatic. I've, I've been more sick than that before. I know you had the, the, the yeah, stuff with the I throat. Yeah, so. crap with the throat. I've been more sick than that, but it's definitely a different sickness. I mean, it's de- it definitely feels different than what I've I had. Uh, the first two days chills and all this weird shit. Um, and then the headache I had, uh, most of the, it was a headache every day, chills and fever, uh, that started to go away, but you just never, it just takes forever for the lingering. Well, that's tired. what I mean by a new kind of hell each day, because like you wake up and you think you're good. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes, but some, you know, sometimes whether it's either during the day or whether you wake up, you you have moments of feeling good. And then all of a sudden, yeah, it's just moments of crappiness True. like and it just stays sticks with you yep. it's a bummer and it lingers and even to this day right now i woke up this morning i could not sleep last night i was congested mm. i couldn't hardly hear my own voice this morning <laughs> sounded like a man <laughs> um and i still i have it in my chest i can feel it even as we speak so we we, we apologize for our inconsistency it's been a little bit of a weird year uh um, couple you know. months yeah so uh we are gonna podcast next week um and then we will probably take a break 
Christmas the final hiatus. two weeks of the year. We'll see. Yeah, because we've got family coming um, the 22nd and then they're not leaving till the 28th. So if you if you kind of do the math there, the, the 21st. Let's just do it in January. Yeah. So we're going to come back the 4th of January. But because we will, we will New podcast. Year's and everybody's got family and friends. Yeah, you know, everybody's doing do. a holiday thing. So we'll come, we'll we'll record this week. We're recording right now. We're not doing it live. Uh, we'll go live next week on the fourteenth, and then that'll be it for the remainder of the year. And then we'll come back strong next year. Yep. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> David, David, uh, and I will be recording this week, so you'll get another podcast uh, out of Low Tree Studios if you listen to Poor Decisions. I'm not sure but you'll get to one of those as well. So let's get into it. Mindy, the couch. We, we have had, since we've been together, mm-hmm. three couches. Now, the first couch was a, 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 a remnant a remnant of your first marriage. <laughs> it was this old, like, black leather... Black leather, baby. ...couch. And I took it because I didn't have shit. I didn't have any furniture, yeah. so whatever. Um, then we got our oh we we got our own. I think that was one of the first pieces of furniture we probably bought together as our own couch. And we had that thing for a very long time, embarrassing, like a super amount. super long time. Um, but it's just the two of us. It is. I mean, the the one couch we never sat on. Uh, Stephanie and David seat. probably sat on the love seat more than yep. we did. Yep, yep. So I have some stats about the couch. You're going to be surprised by some of them. Probably. The, the average couch has been a part of 311 arguments, <laughs> 316 drink spills. No, that's not happened. Not a lot of drink spills, probably. No. 286 episodes of makeup sex mm, on the couch. Makeup sex. I don't know about makeup right sex. Now. What about just sex in general? Why is it doing makeup sex? I don't think it matters. According to a poll, on average, a sofa will stay in someone's home for eight years. We had ours longer than that. <laughs> uh, being the location of 401 naps, definitely. Oh my definitely gosh, that was on the that best couch. couch for naps. And playing host to 8,500 hours of TV time, for sure. Oh, for sure. Uh, the study of 2,000 adults in the UK commissioned by British furniture company Sophology, Sofa, all, Sophology also found the typical couch suffers 65 scribbles from kids and sees men sleeping on it a total of 269 times after a fight with their significant other or a drunken night out. The average couch will double as cinema seating. 537 times way more mm. than that for us mm. uh, over its lifetime and will swallow the remote control 346 times. That's a you lot. Know, I don't know if you know we got that much. Our couch it, was one of those couches where when you got on it, you didn't want to get out of it. You just sunk into <clears> it. <throat> it was the best napping couch ever. And it had that big old um, footrest that was for Ottoman. two or three people. Yeah. So it was like having a queen bed in the middle of the living room. Yes, and I agree. <laughs> I, I agree. Um, so we're going to move on to the question of the podcast. We didn't, Mindy didn't post it. We just had one of those. It's our, I don't want to make excuses because we, Mindy struggles posting it regardless. No, so can I you imagine just didn't when do you, anything. I, I imagine when you throw function. COVID on Mindy, then it's even harder to <laughs> post the question. Now, look, you know what? You, you <laughs> sit here and say it's nothing, but you have been absolutely miserable too. I, I am not. I, you didn't hear my joke. You didn't really hear my joke. Maybe not. I said, you're, you struggle to post it anyway. So sprinkle a little bit of COVID on it and that question ain't going up. Is what I was saying. Mm, mm, I see. I know you don't like the joke, but it's kind of true. <laughs> like Carol Chapel has to remind you. Oh, all the time. All the time. And I thank it. God for her. Yeah. So, oh, and by the way, mm-hmm. she's sent us two cards. Uh, very, they're the animated cards. Mm-hmm. So they're actually cool. You can sit there and watch them. Yeah. Uh, Diane sent us flowers. Yeah, that was pretty uh, sweet. You know, there was a few people that like reached out and asked if we were okay. We just thank you for that. That was very, very nice. It was. It was for sure. So I pulled a, a card. We can answer this issue and I. We don't have to worry about, uh, you know, featuring anybody here. Uh, the question is, and we'll redo the other one. I'll reread it again. Mindy will post it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, should the individual or society be of primary importance, the individual or society? Mm. To whom, I guess, to whom it would it be? In, I think... It, it, should the individual, I mean, 
if you're asking this, then you're asking me as an, as an individual, what's more important, society or me? And I'm going to say me. I'm more important. But I'm also a part of society. So I, if, if, t- if I take care of myself, then in essence, I take care of society. It's no different than the whole... You know, when you're when you're on an airplane, if if it's going down, the mask drops. Put the mask on yourself first, then take care of your neighbor yeah. or your child. Uh, I think that uh, the individual should take care of themselves, and in turn, that takes care of society. That's my answer. Well, I I think that's a good answer because, like you just got done really saying, like, I mean, if you don't take care of the the most important person, yep. How can you take care of anybody else? They right. they say that you know about your spouse, about your children. If you're not happy, yep. nobody's happy. Society cannot be more more important than myself. I mean it, it uh, because and really, especially you know, I'm just gonna throw in just the way things are mm-hmm. today. I think it's really really important to take care of yourself in in the world that we live in, so to speak, um, and and stay close to friends and, and close family. And, Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a doggy dog world out there. Doggy dog. Is it a doggy dog world? Is it a doggy dog? It's dog eat dog. Dog eat dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not a snoop doggy dog world. I I didn't, I did not know that. Yo man, it's a doggy dog world. (laughs) That's what I always said. Oh my God. Doggy dog. All right. So the the question of the podcast that maybe that's the podcast name. It's a doggy doggy dog. dog, doggy dog. It's a doggy. You got to write it down. I'll forget. All right. Uh, so the question of the podcast for listener participation for next week, and I promise Mindy will post it, is what's the most beautiful place you've ever seen? That's an interesting one for us. We haven't traveled a ton, so you're gonna know. You're gonna. It's a pretty good clue where you know where we'll say likely. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the question. What's the most beautiful place you've ever seen? We will post it and we will feature it on next week's show. Of course, Mindy will put it on the Facebook and all that business. And if you join us live, we'll feature it there. That's uh, right. What you got, Mindy? Well, I'm first going to go over um, <clears throat> the sickiness. How do you know whether it's a cold, whether it's the flu or allergies or okay. maybe even COVID? So a few tips from mm. health experts. So you don't want me to try to guess? Is it a list or is it just a, a reading thing? Well, what do you think cold is? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with the the flu. Uh, flu probably has with it a fever, typically, mm-hmm. and your soreness, muscle aches, that kind of thing mm-hmm. uh, that a cold may not have. Because mm-hmm. I know the difference. I had COVID, and then I had uh, just a regular cold. A regular cold didn't really feel all that shit. Right. Um, that's You're a, right on all accounts, except uh, one big one, and especially with COVID. Uh, cold, colds and flus are viral infections. So oh, yeah. meaning it just takes your body as long as it takes to get rid of it. There's nothing that can help it. Well, it and, also comes from a virus. Yes. Yeah. And it's usually brings fever, aches mm-hmm. and fatigue. Oh, fatigue. Yeah. And fatigue was, has been, I think the biggest thing for mm-hmm. COVID, mm-hmm. I, you know, I can go, you know, all day long. Yep. And then even after work, do a lot of stuff. But man, by the time I get out of work, I'm tired. Yep. Uh, allergies. What do you think? Well, I mean, they're ca- it's caused by histamines mm-hmm. um, that you're allergic to. But but the difference is you don't you don't get a fever typically. Right. So it's the opposite sort of. But you're you doing good. But you do get. Sneezy, mm-hmm. uh, itchy, itchy eyes, runny nose at times, mm-hmm. um, but you don't really get you. You can get congestion. You can get hay fever, stuff like that. Yeah, but it's different. It's yeah, not it like um, it doesn't where go, you may feel it in your head or your chest. I would say it's a it's depth, more in your face. It's a depth thing, right? Allergies feel more surface, mm-hmm. whereas a cold or a flu feels Deep. deeper. You know, it's into your body. I would agree. Into your bloodstream. And so it do, it just says allergies do not come with a fever. Mm. And mm. if you're sneezing and blowing your nose endlessly, it could be 
a cold or allergies, but a cold will leave after a week to 10 days. Allergies linger. They do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, they're itchy. And allergies are not accompanied by pains, upset stomach, or exhaustion like the flu. And that was another thing with mm-hmm. COVID that you didn't have that I had. Um, I couldn't eat anything. Well, didn't have mainly because of my throat. So mm-hmm. I lost like five pounds within the first few days. And then um, even when I started to eat, I was, I've been nauseous. I don't know why that is, mm. but I did read that somewhere where that is one of the symptoms is being nauseous. Well, you didn't lose your sense of smell though. And I did. I have this weird sense of smell in my nose. Everything <laughs> smells like it. There's nothing. Co- I don't smell the coffee in the morning. I don't smell any of that. I still don't smell the coffee. So, but I don't, I don't think I have it. I, I lost more of the taste mm. stuff. Yeah. I still have that. Yeah. So. Um, all right. And so then symptoms for allergies include allergy shiners where blood vessels under eyes dilate, mm. creating dark circles and the allergy salute whereby people constantly rub their nose. Mm, okay. And for colds, well, grandma was right. Chicken soup really is a good remedy, though doctors are not sure why. Mm. It's the extra love she puts in it. Mm. Or me, because I made a big pot of chicken noodle soup while we were sick. Mm -hmm. And if it's COVID you're concerned about, then take a test. Yep. Just do it. It's good for you to do it. I mean, it doesn't, I don't, I don't really know what it helps other than, um, I I do think knowing is good because you can take responsibility for knowing and you, 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 you know, you don't want to spread it to people that, that that can have pretty severe effects from it. Mm-hmm. You know, personally, Mindy and I know two people uh, very closely. We knew them, worked with them, who passed away from it. You know, and and I'm sure it was it was side effects from other things too, mm-hmm. complications from other things too. It wasn't COVID alone, but that's the problem, right? You don't know who you may affect, infect that. Um, could, could have those adverse effects and those complications. So that, that to me, that's the more important part is being responsible for other people. I don't want to go out there and get other people sick. And I, now that we've had it, I can see why spreads quick. somebody, if they've already had, you know, some kind of complications, um, because it takes so much out of your body that I can see why <clears> it would <throat> be very hard for somebody to bounce back from that. Mm-hmm. Cause it's been really hard for us to bounce back. Yeah. Like normally, just normally, I just when don't I get feel sick, normal. Yeah. Even even normal. now. Okay. So, um, how about let's talk about some underrated Christmas gifts? Yes. Let's do. Okay. This is off of a recent Ask Reddit thread. Mm-hmm. Um, they asked, what is the most underrated Christmas gifts? And uh, so I'm going to go through some, but okay. if you think of any. I will. Yeah. As you're, as you're going through, I'll see if I can think of, see if it sparks any. So at work, uh, this is we are doing a white elephant thing. The plan was to buy goofy, funny things. When I opened mine, it was a 124 pack of toilet paper. Mm. Everybody thought it was funny, but um, I've never even come close mm. to receiving a gift as amazing as that. That's actually a pretty good idea. Huh. Yeah. I have to buy a white elephant gift uh, this weekend. So I'm looking forward to this list. <laughs> That's pretty funny, right? Yeah. Hey, it's useful. And restaurant gift cards, especially for local non-chain restaurants. You give them a reason to go eat out at their, or with their significant other is thoughtful and usually will bring them a lot of joy. I don't like to do that for like white elephant though. That's, that's a, that's the cheap way out. I think you got to get creative a little bit. I think. Really? I like, I like gift cards. I I, I don't know what I got last year. What did I get last year? I don't know, but it, it, I don't think it, I don't think it was amazing. See now you guys do stupid calendars. We do, we, we do two things. We do a calendar exchange, which, which is I shouldn't say stupid because I liked your calendar you gave last year, but I loved it. And I, I wish I would have ended up with it. It was, it wasn't, was it profanity? Like, no, it was, I forget. It was about birds. It was something with birds. Uh, No, it it was dad jokes. Mm. It was dad jokes. Um, somebody got one and it was profanity and every day it was like something horrible Yeah, and I just cracked up. Um, but we do that and then we do a regular gift exchange. So we do calendar exchange 
and then we do a we do a gift exchange. So I have to come up with a gift. So now, toilet paper would be great. I have a really huge pet peeve about Christmas and many things about Christmas. And one of them is a white elephant gift. Now, if the instructions say $5, then it's a $5 gift. Follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. But if it says $25 gift, find something that's $25. Yes. Don't bring a $5 gift when everybody else that's, is that's spending That's why I don't money. like, I, I'm not really looking for, I don't really care about this shit. I know I'm going to, some of the stuff. But don't be that person. Make sure you I, read. I never would. There's yeah. people that will, but it's worse. There's pe this, they turn this into a joke. Okay. W w let me give you an example. Well, there was three gifts last year that were garbage, just absolute garbage. Ugh. One of them was uh, a Brazilian wax gift card. Fine. Uh, I'll take it. I'd give it to you. Would you use it? I have no fucking clue. No. Right. So that's that. The, the other one was this uh, lingerie for men with a long trunk in the front. <laughs> so it was a gag Fucking, gift. It's a total gag gift. And I bet it did not say anything about a gag gift. No, it doesn't. And then there was the other one. Somebody bought a huge box with, with like uh, outdoor rocks in it and a sledgehammer. Wow. That was the gift. Stupid. I'm like, I would have been pissed. That's why I don't care about this. I'm giving away, just giving away 25. So people, okay, if you're <laughs> listening to this and you are going to a white elephant party, read the instructions twice, maybe three people times. People don't care. They should. They will make it a gag thing. They will. I, they're, they're, th that happened to us. And, it's going to happen. And I, I just was like, really? This is why I don't care. This is why toilet paper... I'm good with that choice. I always made it when, when we did our white elephant, I may, I was like, get a nice gift. Nobody wants anybody coming to the party with some weird go fish cards. Right. We did do that. Okay. Move on. Okay. You're <laughs> hung up on this. <laughs> move on. It's just, okay. Um, every, let's see. Um, that was the gift. Okay. So every year my grandma would get, Everyone, toilet paper, deodorant, toothpaste, Q-tips. Didn't realize how great it was until she was gone. Mm. Now, um, my mom used to do that in our stockings. Yeah, that's, stocking a, that's a good stocking stuffer. All the stuff that us, us girls like. I got Hot Wheels in my, my stocking yeah. <coughs> as well. Um, nice sheets or towels. Everybody enjoys them, but no one I can... I, I, don't, I don't like that because you don't know what size bed they have. You'd have to do some research. Yeah, you'd have to do some research. That is a little hard. But towels are pretty easy. And you just get towels some nice are, yes. fluffy ones. But then, you know, color. So then you got to stay with the neutrals. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, but look, that I, I agree. That's a good gift. Okay, premium subscription to some something the person already uses mm. the free version of. Like they're oh, guaranteed to use it. And it's something they've decided that they weren't going to splurge mm. on themselves. Got to know them. That's a good one. Now, my mom, this is something cool my mom does for me and my sister is she will um, subscribe to one of our favorite magazines for us for a full year. That's cool. Yeah. And it comes all year long and I, I love it. Nice. Uh, let's see. The uh, one year when I was pretty broke, someone gave me a nice tote filled with non-perishables. I suddenly had a uh, nice stockpile of stuff like soap, crackers, and cookies. And on top of that, had a tote to store stuff in. Where did they get this list from, by the way, that you're reading off This of? is like just Reddit people. Oh, okay, Reddit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then pet toys. I love, mm. I love when people remember my kitties. I don't know about kitties, but well, we'll go with dogs. Yeah. Underwear. I never mm. buy that. Um, I don't think I want underwear. Socks. Buy it like a coworker. You know what would be cool? Uh, actually, socks is different. Yeah, I have a real, I have a really cool. Uh, ooh, that's wish a I would, great I wish gift. I would have thought of it. I have uh, the socks I bought. I love them, I, and I got I got them online, and I forget what kind they are now. I saved the box. I was going to get some for Steve. That would have been a cool gift to get to buy as a as a. Um, I think that's an excellent gift. I don't think I have time though. I think you probably do. I have until next week, so maybe I do. You need to look it up tonight. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, so can you think of any other, like, you know, underrated gifts that hmm. that you get, that you've gotten yourself, 
and you thought it was a great idea. And like, you know what I like to do? Hmm. Mine is picture frames, hmm. beautiful picture frames. Yeah, we one year when we did our white elephant at our party, people fought over picture frames, and I was surprised. I did not think that it was going to be a good mm-hmm. one. I didn't think it was going to be a good one. Uh, underrated, people do it all the time, but I, alcohol is not a bad one. Um, people do it a lot, though, so I guess it is not really underrated. It's sort yeah. of, I guess, probably overrated. Overrated. I do like the socks. Uh, I, I used to get socks from my grandma every year, and occasionally you you did that. I think it's such a great idea right now as we speak for you right now because it's, um, you know, where you work. The guys would love the socks. Casual dress and... There's a couple guys that really would dig the socks. Mm -hmm. They really would dig them. They've gotten compliments on my socks and -hmm. it's from that company. And I I just hope I saved the box. Mm. I hope I saved it. We'll find out. All Um, right. right, Cool. So that was it. All right. Let's move on. Hi, Mindy. Uh, This is interesting. I've been into horses had horses, been around my mom with horses. A group of horses will not go to sleep at the same time. At least one of them will stay awake to look out for the others. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is cool. Russia has a whopping 11 time zones within the country. Wow. Which gives you an idea of just how large it is. That's crazy. Some prehistoric dragonflies had wingspans as big as hawks. Really? Can you imagine that shit? Because the ones here are already big. Pretty big. Yeah. I have a technique for getting them out of the garage. What's that? When they get in it. You get a flashlight Uh and you shine it towards them. They follow the light and go right out the door. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice. Learned that after one got trapped in there and died. Well, remember um, that one night we were working in there and we had the lights on and they're there was, but they were everywhere outside. Oh, there was so many of them. It was crazy. Just tons of them. Yeah. All right. Do you know, do, wait, do you want to know the place that has more caves than any other location on earth? Sure. Of course I do. Kentucky. Kentucky. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's worth adding to your vacation list. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Fun facts in the books. So uh, this is not going to be a pile on the parents segment, or maybe it will be. I don't know. But um, when I, well, first of all, let's define what we think success is. So for me, when I think of success, and, and this is highly successful as a person, someone who's usually attributed to wealth or someone who uh, is, you know, y- you know how much time it takes I personally know how much time it takes to be really, really good at something. I was watching a video the other day. This drummer was evaluating this uh, this movie that had drummers in it. And he mentioned that he practices drums eight to nine hours a day. That guy yeah. does. And it's obvious. And he's very, very good. And I think to myself, well, there's no... It's obvious why I'm not as good as that guy. Because I work. I don't have the opportunity to practice eight to nine hours a day. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm lucky, if I get in an hour to two hours. Um, so I I would say that's a person who's highly successful, right? They're highly successful Mm -hmm. in their craft. They're very good at it. Doesn't mean he makes a shitload of money, but he's very good at the drums. He's got a presence, right? That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. You could go, you know, you could go money to, but usually though, somebody that dedicated usually has a certain amount of wealth behind him because you of have it. to, you, yeah. you have to have the ability to do that thing all the time. Mm-hmm. So I, I consider highly successful as someone who has the freedom to do what they're born to do, what they're meant to do. Mm-hmm. Here's this. We all want our children to grow into happy, healthy, and successful adults, adults. And when it comes to that last one success, there is so much advice out there. It can be overwhelming, but there are common threads among parents who raise resilient, confident, well-adjusted children. Here are the three parents, uh, the three things parents of highly successful kids have in common, according to experts. This is the first one. They teach empathy. Share your emotions so your kids feel safe sharing theirs and ask your kids to notice the feelings of people around them. Point out something and ask, how do you think that person is feeling? So teaching your kids empathy. Is that something you felt 
you were taught empathy? Um, I have to say yes, because I, I'm very, I'm almost hyper aware of how people are feeling around me. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I would say yes. I, I don't, I don't remember like, well, I don't know. My mom was, you know, pretty much the type of person <clears throat> was like, how would you, how would that make you feel? Or, you know, I can, I, there's a few times I can remember yelling at us like, how would you like that? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I think I learned it because I, uh, I don't want to paint a, an ugly picture of my parents, but my parents did not get along when I was a kid. Oh, well that they too. Fought a no, lot. that's true. So I think I learned how to not necessarily, I mean, empathize you by, 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 uh, environment. Cause you you empathize with how, what they must be going through mm -hmm. to, to be at that level, but how not to, but you also learn how to be really aware of when the storm is coming. Yeah. And how to hide from it, you know, yeah. in plain sight. Right. So you just become super aware. I think I'm, I'm totally with you on that because you know, we, grew up in similar households and there was obviously a lot of fighting in with my, my real parents. And so I would totally agree with that because you, you learn what not to do or what to stay away from or how to be so that you maybe aren't in that kind of trouble or yep. getting yelled at or the byproduct of that though, is that you feel unseen. Mm -hmm. And in this, in this side of it is your, it's saying, you know, you're teaching your kids how to be empathetic. So they're not only being seen, but you're teaching them how to see others. Yes. So I think that's a, a really good lesson. The next one, uh, parents show interest in their children's interests. Mm. Sports, video games, debating, music, whatever it is, parents of successful kids encourage their hobbies because it keeps them mentally active. And even if it's not a hobby, showing interest in your child is... Do, is um, can be monument can have a monumental impact. Mm. Um, I agree with that. And I, 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 I would too. say that that wasn't something that was not something no. that I grew up with either. Now I, I'm going to say a couple things about that. Like, I think my parents really had no business being parents at that Same. Young, young of an age. They did the best that they could. Foremost. They had kids. Exactly. And with that said, I think my mom, because you know, when you, when you get older, you start to look at your, well, at least I look, I'm going to talk about my mom. My dad's no longer here, but I look at my mom through different eyes. Mm -hmm. And I think about her age, like I think about my age and then I think of how, how young, how young she was yeah. and how hard it must have been to raise two twins and, you know, myself by herself, yep. at, you know, at a very young age. And so, yeah. Yeah, yeah I you're agree. just a product of. Yeah, I mean, you can't hate. I mean, they brought you into the world. Mm -hmm. You're, I mean, we're here, we're alive, we're doing our best. Um, she was very loving, you know, but I just think they didn't have the time. Or exactly. They didn't have even the care. They were too busy too about busy. thinking about surviving. Yep. To think about you playing football or baseball yep. or gymnastics or exactly. whatever it is that you might have had an interest in. Um, you know, and what you learn from that as a kid, which is unfortunate, this is why it's it like, uh, you know, you could say, choose to have to, to make a family, you know, you're going to have a family whenever you do have a family. If you do have a family, take responsibility for that family. But what it, what it teaches kids is limitation, right? If they don't mm. get encouraged to try different things and do different things and be in organized sports and all those different things. You just get taught that you just got to have a, get a job. Yep. You know, take care of your family, you know, stuff like that. Yep. Um, but anyway, the last one, they are optimistic, optimistic kids view challenges and obstacles as temporary and possible to overcome. That's big, I think. So they are more likely to succeed as a parent. Be mindful of your own behaviors. Do you describe situations in a negative or positive way? Would your friends say you are a glass half full or a glass half empty kind of person? That's pretty big. Mm. That's pretty big. I would say that. And I would say that was another thing that my parents struggled with. They were just so busy in the grind 
you know, trying to make their marriage work, trying to make ends meet. We were poor, Mm -hmm. um, that they just, that was about all they could offer. That was about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know I what I'm will saying? say that's, a, yeah. that's really the same. Yeah. I mean, I know there were very, there are many, many times my mom really tried to make things special. Of course. So could. did my parents. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. But it, it, it was, it was few and far between. Uh, they didn't start having success, you know, until financial later. success until we were older. And right about then is when they got a divorce. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It was interesting. It's probably a lot of reasons why I never wanted it. I mean, we tried to have kids and I'm, I'm grateful that it didn't work out. Oh, you know? I'm positive. It, I, I always sort of knew for me that I, 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 I oh guys, it's so weird for me to even say this, but I kind of knew like I, I didn't have the energy that mm-hmm. it took to raise a child in the way that I wanted to. To, do, to right the wrongs. To, yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, let's get into this. The average person buys three of these every holiday season. What are they? Three of these. Candy canes? Only three? <laughs> Usually people buy a whole pack of that oh, shit. Three. Every holiday season. Um, I would th- say we are close to this, probably. I don't really know, but... Is it a is food item? No. Okay. We buy three of these. Every holiday season. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it well. Oh, how about um, decorations? You're very close. Lights. No. Um, Christmas cards. You're even closer now. Um. You're hot on the trail. Oh my gosh! Um, like ugly sweaters. No. No. You're you're, you're drifting now. Okay. You're further away. Um, boxes. Oh, wrapping paper. I <laughs> knew it. <laughs> wrapping paper. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. All right. Jason, if animals could talk, which animal? Would be the most annoying. Mm, cats. Dogs, probably. Dogs would be. You think so? Oh, 100%. You think our dog would be annoying? Oh, fuck yeah. When we go for a walk. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. When we go going for yeah, a walk. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where's my out, treat? What you get out of the cabinet, mom? Is it a treat? Are you, 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 you going to make popcorn? You usually make popcorn. I like popcorn. You're going to make some popcorn? <laughs> are, are you, you going to give me that crust? Yeah. Oh, you're going to see that you. crust? You're going to give me that crust? I really like crust. You know, I really like crust. How many times have I told you I like crust? I really like crust. <laughs> I know it It'd be fucking annoying. <laughs> or, or, hey, do you see Chuck's outside? Hey, yeah, I heard Chuck's outside, Dad. Chuck's outside. Hey, Dad, I heard Chuck. Chuck's out there working on his car. You want to go see him? We'll go see Chuck. Let's go talk to Chuck. <laughs> it wouldn't end it would with this dog. It would never end. Yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be get in your bed. It'd be shut the fuck up and get in your bed. Especially like when you leave, he's like, where's dad? Mom, dad went outside. Dad went outside. I know. Did so- you see? Can I go? It's time Can for I me go? to go outside, mom. It's time for me to go outside. <laughs> it would, it, it, it would be, it, so I said cats at first, but cats are yeah. more like, just leave me alone. Yeah. They'd yeah. be better. Yeah. But dogs I, I'm would gonna, be annoying. I, yep. I'm, I'm going. I'm with. very glad they can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> Some especially, dogs try to talk. Especially ours. Some dogs do try to talk. He's he's incredibly quiet, but he says it all with his, his body language. And his eyes. Yeah. He'll just sit there. I'm not even shitting you. He'll sit there on the side of the couch and he will, I can feel a hole mm-hmm. burning through the side of my face because he's staring at yep. me. And yep. then I'll look at him and I'll be like, look at this stupid dog. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> if he could just talk. So yeah, dogs. All right. What is the silliest fear you have? Silliest fear. Uh, 
I, I have mine, a lot of silly okay, ones. Okay, mine is going to be just off the top of my head. I have a weird thing with plants. That is pretty weird. It's like a texture thing. They'll yeah. It'll freak me out if it's hairy or like rubbery or... My fears are weird, like... I think that's just a weird fear. I'll get nervous for work shit. Then I'm like, why am I nervous about that? Yeah. You know, stupid stuff like that. It's totally, totally irrational. Uh -huh. um, you know, even like with me, like with, and I know some people would say this is probably pretty normal to be afraid of, but like whenever the band, the new, I'm new to the band, when they come over, I get a little nervous, you know, I'm still learning the songs. Am I going to play them very good? Just you know, stuff like yourself. that. Yeah. 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 All right. What movie show or video makes you laugh no matter how often you watch it? Oh, that's easy. I know what you're going to say. Yeah. It's the office. the office. Yeah. Do I have one that you know that I'm like, laugh at i don't know you laugh at dumb stuff on facebook dumb like prank stuff oh yeah like all the prank stuff and you'll just be laughing at the top of your that's the stuff that never <laughs> and it's usually like yeah animals or yeah that's that's what it's you'll... usually dog stuff or or people just doing stupid shit yep that's yeah. you yep okay all right that's that it, huh? It. Yeah. All right. Quote. Quotes. Oops. Hang on. Turn the volume Get up. Get it right. <laughs> so I just picked uh, three deep thoughts. Nice. I didn't even, I was lazy tonight. I didn't even. <laughs> What's behind here, too? Did I not pick something? Oh, okay. That was that one. All right. Here's your first deep thought. Mm -hmm. A thousand words will not leave an impression so deep as one deed. True. And that burns me tonight that we didn't give that guy $20. He might not even have taken it. So what? It was, it was, uh. do you ever, you, you, do you just hate that? Where like you wish sometimes like you were like more gracious at times. Yeah, I do. I, I, I really do. I wish I was even in that, I wish I, because I'm more like standoffish yeah. with people that come to the door. You know, of course you should be, I think, but I'm standoffish with salesmen. Well, Vivid guy, come back. He's should... not coming back. He's not going to make a sale. He does not care. He would rather have a sale than our I 20 know. bucks. That sale is going to be but way more money But I would have paid him the $20 for, for just like the 30 minutes he gave his I little know. spiel. All right, next one. True happiness only occurs when you find the problems you enjoy having and enjoy solving. Hmm. Yeah. And the That's last true. one tonight is miracles happen to those who believe in them. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Thanks, Mindy. So next week, well, last podcast for a while. Hang on. Oh, do you got one? No, I don't. I just I the, my thing is I turn the music up and then I turn it back down. Oh, I you see. Know, it's the I'm, thing. I interrupted. It's okay. Uh, yeah, next week we will podcast and we will go live. Uh, so like right now we would be starting to go live and we're ending, so it's kind of nice. I, I I do have to practice tonight and get some stuff done. Um, so that's kind of why we did this. Uh, but yeah, next week we'll go live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 14th. We'll have some fun. We'll do some Christmas stuff. And uh, then we'll wish you guys a, a happy holidays and come back in, the in new January. Year. Uh, so that's it for today, today's show. If you love what we do and want more of us, check out our website, LowTreeStudios.com. The links are provided in the show notes. Enjoy your evening, everyone. And thank you for listening to the JC Mini Podcast, where we feature topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind. Farewell. Bye-bye.